Welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to focus on a lot of different things, but right now I'm going to go over a completed base, and it's not really completed, but a start of a com more advanced base. We have here my workshop, workshop area, where we currently have two power suits. This one is decked out in Minutemen attire. So right there, as you can see, they clearly, it's Minuteman, gives it charisma bonus, has its own fusion core. I currently have Preston Garvey in a Minuteman outfit. That's not completely finished up yet, but once we get him some pieces, he'll be in a Minuteman outfit as well. Here we have a more advanced T-52B. It's a heavy T-51, heavy military version. T-51 is very powerful, very thick looking, as you can see there on the shoulder and the helmet. It's more of a war style one, so gotta keep that in mind. Very war based. Hopefully that things. And we're gonna go over supply lines. So here we are. This is a um, defense garden this way because we have a trader there. He's not there at the moment, but this is a weapon stall. I can go to the character and trade weapons. I have a the patroller there. We have a defender up here. She's an X raider, as you can tell. You can click on them and you can I just need to trade gear with you. Trade gear with them, as you can see right here. So we can see right now she currently has equipped a Tommy gun that I gave her. And if I wanted her, I could have her wear a Brotherhood Steel uniform, but it's not quite as effective as the armor she's currently wearing. Actually, it is. So, um, sure, we'll make her. Actually, I want her to wear that. Um, so she, trade a few things. she has a little money. So she's going to pay us for living here. There we go. Um, every trader, you can give them individual guns. Let's see, we got people back here. Take care of yourself. So all my farmers plant now food in different areas. As you can see, she's harvesting gourd. They all have something to say. Here's my gunsmith, so like... I can fix most things, but people don't fix so easily. Easily. Yeah, so right here. He's my trader for weapons, so you can see he has plenty of rounds. He has clean t-shirts, pistols, you know, he has basic stuff. Short pipe rifle, shotgun shells. What's up? Stuff like that. Um, they generate income for me, so I generate income off that. We have a generator system here, which shines a light. As you can see, as it gets darker, allows them to see better with raiders attack at night. We have a nice tato plants here. You come over here, we have some inner water supply. When Brahmin come in, we have Brahmin. You can open the gate. Oh, there's the door. Um, we have more food back in here. It's more supplied and we close the store. So we have our basic stuff defended off a little bit. I'm not more worried about raiders coming in from the front than the rear, but if they do come from the rear, she she's walked her position. The reason I don't want her to wear the Brothers Steel outfit is because all my other ones are wearing military fatigues. To have a nice military look for me. I like that. She she uses a laser handgun, known by the institute. Uh, here's a here's a settler. We're gonna get him a new job real quick. So here's how you do this supply line. You go in and you click on them supply line. And I want him to go to Sunshine Titans Co-op. Him, I said. Sup supply. See, see what it says on the bottom left? Sign supply line to Sunshine Co ops. Boom. I have enough people gathering food, so. He's 11. This is a new guy. If you see it just a few minutes ago, it said 10. I now have 11 people, so more people keep showing up. This guy's a new one. He's a provisioner. So, he's going off to his job. Uh, next person I'll probably set up is scavenging. But as you see here, that's a. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk to him real quick. I'd like, I'd like to, to trade, trade some items. Let's see what he has. He has decent guns, you know. If I want him to survive, so we can see what a harness looks like on him. Yeah, it doesn't look as good as what he's wearing. But, so let's say if I wanted him to, let's say I have some extra weapons real quick. So if I wanted to give him this rapid revolver pistol, I would just send it to him, give him ammo, and tell him to equip it. It's pretty simple. I don't have very many weapons right now. See, army fatigues I'm currently wearing as well. They're using military fatigues. It's the same thing, roughly. Just different look. Mine's more of like a higher class, you know, I'm the leader. But, so that's it. Now he'll be beginning provisions and stuff, and I'll have more supplies, and it'll help bring merchants here. Um, here's another one of my characters I told you about. He's got his military fatigues on. He's got his military fatigue hat. We'll go over this, um, here, as you see here. Sorry. We got a um, generator medium. It has light running there from the door. We have another radio beacon, which helps bring people here. We got right here, as you see, a machine gun turret there. 
a machine gun turret there. She's patrolling back, carrying her gun. Um, I also have supply lines that run all the way down. Now, which some of you have seen before. To there, to God, light on the door. And there to my outside water purifier. Now, for against Raider, she'll be standing here and watching the road. But on the outside of the door to watch merchants, we have this Another guy here. He's all he's wearing a Minutemen outfit, which is what we are technically the Minutemen. So I'm trying to stick to a military look. Now right here. So this is my personal basic I'm rebuilding this in my last video or one of my last videos. It's been updated. Now we have a rug. We have brother really steel flag, Minutemen flags, and American flags. We have a little vodka sitting on the pool table. Uh looks like a slight glitch there, whiskey. Um we have our bobbleheads. You can take them if you want. They're all little sayings. Have some chairs. You can sit here and just sit down and watch. But what most people don't realize is you can put safes in. So I have a safe back here with some guns. I want to give people some more guns. Which I'll probably take an instant pistols. But um, we have installed beds up here now. I have my own little desk section. Also, if you remember this, I built this. It's kind of you running through here now. As you get up top behind some cover, and you can move like across the whole rooftop pretty evenly. And if someone wants to attack, you see that I can pull out my hunting rifle from here, and I can watch our provisioner. So that's what this is for. I plan to make the barrel longer on this. It's kind of a snub nose rifle. So this would be my area. People can still come and stay here. You can't really keep them out. Wherever there's beds, they can come. But I sleep in this area as well. Um, as you can see, he's got a flashlight on his suit. Helps him see. Actually, I currently have a cue ball. So let's drop that on the table. I'm currently collecting stuff, trying to go ahead and fill up my full pool table. Play a little pool, maybe. Um, put my gun away. We don't need it. As you can see, you know, I still have the defenders out. She's still doing her patrol. There's the other turret. Now this here is the place I have more designed for them. And here we have a trader. He owns his little store stall. We have a TV, we have a radio, I can turn the radio on. Um, I have stairs, you know, American flags, very American in here. Very lively, it's like a little hotel I've built for them. This allows more people to come though. So as I was saying in one video, well, excuse me. As you can see, I have 11 people, 18 food, 22 water. So right now, I have 16 beds. I can support up to 16 people in this place. So it's, I just, it just becomes a matter of still getting jobs, you know. I'm um, probably set up more jobs. Right now, I want someone else to do this, but because the one guy doesn't stay there very often, so I wouldn't recommend using him. His name's Starges, but anyone else would be fine. Your settlers are your main job supplies. But that's what that looks like. So right now, that one person you see him walking, I have a provisioner. According to the map, they're heading into this area right here. Which is at four people, 72% co-op. Red Rock and I haven't been able to place a place yet. But that'll also be a place that I can have supply lines between. So right now, my person has to go from here to here. Very unsafe. He could die. So I can show my supply line. So that's what you see there. So that's a supply line right now. I can travel there, which we're going to tell them to show you what this place looks like. So let's head on up there. The protect run relies on strong melee attacks and painful electric shock. So as you see, though, it's my, the base has come together. It's very well defended right now. Um, all my people who are defending my my security ops they are very well armed so that's the key thing I believe personally but here's my other little co-op I don't need that yet so I cleared this out and it has lots of potential there's shacks there's but as he said look at that he's kind of happy too we have a cooking thing over there I have a defender here they're not got military military fatigues yet because it's not sanctuary this is just like what I consider my subpar place I got Settler. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? <laughs> so, you know, we have a little thing going on here. They're working hard, hardly working. I got some defenders. 
Now Preston doesn't like being here, it's too exposed, but I do have a turret up. And then there's food and water here, so. It's just a small outpost, but this is who they're trading with. Now the supply line should bring more people and give me extra goods. Now I hope for more people to come in soon, that's the idea. But let's go ahead and bring stuff in a little closer, I'll show you how that works. If you place it, you can move it around however you like. Hold on, what's that over there? We're going to go check that out in just a minute. I don't like that. It's lit up. Alright, so. So, uh, right here you have the cooking station. I'm just going to pick it up. And let's move that to a, a safer location. We'll make this like a little home. Actually, I already have a home for them. Sorry, guys. I forgot all about that. So, right here you see this building here. It's a nice building, but... This is where I was going to put beds. So we're going to turn this into like a kitchen. So you just basically place it here. And people will now come here to cook. If you want to do furniture, put some chairs down if that's what you want to do. I mean, it's there's a lot of chair options in this game. You can make all of these. Sofas, all kinds of stools. Damn near everything. Couches, I um, can't really make a lot of them low on this, but still, let's see. So, so like that. Now, if it looks like you can't rotate it, you just have to place it first, and then you can move it around a little better. But for right now, this is all you can do when you first place. So now when you click off, see, I can move it around, change the shape a little better. And like that, you see now we have a nice little cooking spot in here. If I want to put... Um, other furniture I can go to like tables you just find a table that looks right for the area I like that might work good you know what I mean like this looks like more of a lunch looks more like a ca cafeteria right so you would just Like that, you have tables all in here. Not really the most purposeful thing, but once I set up stores in here, which is the actual idea, so I'm gonna go ahead and scrap that. Every one, every other one. There we go. So the idea for me is to install stores in here for other supply lines. There we go. So now you have a little area like that. But that's just some basic crafting right there. And if you see the happiness meters up, people will continue to live here. They have a nice desk here. Um, there's a wheelchair, some beds people sleep in. Apparently that requires someone to fill up. Um, this place comes with three houses. I just cleared the ghouls out. And, well, it's not all the ghouls. But there's beds. You can see someone's using that one. Someone's using that one. So not all the beds are in use right now. But they don't have to be yet. As you can see, though, it just works. They, they fill up. Um, concrete's very rare, so I would recommend if you see any cement bags to take those on your journeys. Cement bags is where it's at. So you switch out your mode there. Just pick it up. There we go. Hunting in the waste. I now collect extra meat from animals. Uh, but I mean, as you can see, it's very building unique. It has that very survival feel to it like your inner survival game and like always just thank you guys for watching it's very nice to have you watching um this place you can tell is not one you want to build in but there is wood in there it looks like you can scrap oh i cannot so there's sometimes you just can't scrap certain things that you normally would um so here's another little of those houses we ain't looked at yet which has a bed some carpets it looks like we're going to scrap that for the rug. Oh, shit. We're being raided.
Well, as you just seen, we got our first raid. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. That was the first time I've ever had a raid. Uh, looks like my defenses were okay. We'll see if anything changed. I uh, still got four people, 12 food, water. Generator's still good. Looks like we blew one up there. As you can see, he's missing his arms. So, my people are, as you can see, they held off against some super mutants. It's pretty unique. We got some wild potatoes here. Potato flowers. Um, yeah, wow. Uh, that's the first for me. Um, we see Steva guard here. So our, our guards are working pretty hard. Um, a settler there. He's one of the farmers, I assume. But that's that's literally it for everyone. If you see there, um, mutant fruit plant gives you one food. So that's actually a good plant to get. Looks like mutant fruit. Everything else gives you one. I actually could use more people gathering food. But seeing that we've already been attacked, uh, I'm probably going to have to get people here for defense. Uh, I'm going to send people here, but as you've seen there, we just survived our first attack by super mutants. Um, with skull fragment, we'll take that. Short on Mac pie rifle. Here's what we're going to do. Super mutants orders. Check that out. Okay. So now we're going to go over to this defender here. Let's see trade some things. Let's see what gun she's got. She's getting a pipe pistol. So she's going to pay us really quick. As you've seen. And in turn, we're going to give her a short automatic pipe rifle. And now, she's going to equip that. And she has an automatic gun. So now we have automatic people. And like that, she can defend herself a little better. And we'll see what this guy got. Can we trade a few things? Go ahead. And we'll let him keep his guns. He has a pipe pistol. I'm gonna keep his bullets. He's working hard. Let's, Let's trade. trade. Of course. We're gonna command him to get back to work. Oh, my food just increased, if you've seen there. Even better. Well, maybe my food decreased? Oh. We'll see. It should increase. We should have people working everything. There we go. We hear gunfire. I just, I just want to trade, trade a few things. things. Now, if you just were here for that, we just defended against a raid. I have no clue where it come from, but we're going to make sure everyone here is equipped okay. with weapons. So if you look, she has a body pin she doesn't need. She only has a pipe pistol, so let's see if we have any weapons we can give her. Um, We could give her a grenade, but we don't want her to blow our own people up. Now, that's my pistol. Um, Let's see. If you have any ideas of a gun you see I should give her, let me know. We'll give it to her. Well, maybe I have some armor. I can give her a wedding ring. Um, let's see right here. I really don't have any guns to give them, but since we hear gunfire, there's a possibility we're going to get raided again in a minute. So we're going to have Preston ready to go. He's on the fence with me. Let's see. Look around. Let's see if we can look at these super... Wait, let's check the super mutant bodies out again. Super mutants attacked. Let's see. Uh, he didn't have nothing. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of them. Uh, this one has a capless skull, so he got screwed up. So they got blown up pretty hard. Is that someone new? No, it's our old settler. So I remember new settlers show up, but so this super mutant had a board. Got another super mutant here. Board, short pipe rifle. Here we go. So now we took that rifle. Let's look at our guards here. Let's see what this guard's got. I'd like, I'd like to, to trade, trade some items. See so if he's got a decent gun. So she's got a, she's got something. Else. She only has a pistol. Uh, let's see. Let's have her wear this real quick. 
Nah, I think it's four off. It looks better. All right, so let's take her bottle caps. She's paying us for a gun. So let's find that gun I just picked up. Did you see it? There it is. So that's better than her pistol if you look at the damage. So what you do to make her use it, you have to hit store. You then have to go over. See, it still says she's using a pistol. Click on it, and you hit equip a triangle. You hear those gunshots? Oh, there's gunshots and explosions nearby. Here, let's see if we can get an eye out real quick. If you see any movement, please send, leave me a comment. Let me know if I missed something. Oh, see that light over there? We should check it out, I think. Because there's gunfire somewhere in the area. Four or five mutants just attacked. I really need to get better defenses up, but... Unfortunately, I don't have the supplies right now. However, you can fix that. If you look right here, when it's, my thing says L1 for show supply lines. When I hit L1, right now I'm getting supplies from Sanctuary to this place. So we have, I have a trader going back and forth on the road. <coughs> what that's going to allow me to do is, is to um, get more trade merchants, more people faster. Just in general, a lot of things are going to be more accessible to us. But let's be careful right here. Since we know we just were attacked. Uh, let's look around. We got a little light going on. Looks like a explosive stash. No. Oh. Grab the gun. Shit. We got raiders. So we got raiders. Scum. Let's see what we got here. Uh. Bop. Look for the next one. He's over here. See, we're about to get raided again. They took cover. So let's go use a shotgun on him. Oh, oh. Now, have you seen there? He missed with a shotgun. Bop. Now we can take these guys' guns. Compensate a pistol. And we can take these back to our people. So watch this. We're gonna suit up our soul our little defenders here. What the supplies raiders are generous enough to give us. Oh, I passed him up, sorry. Where'd he go? There he is. Alright. So he has salt gas mask, that's good. See now, each body part, they're actually wearing what you see is the road leathers. When you put road leathers on, oops, she's naked, with individual body parts, which I'll demonstrate momentarily. Alright, so let's go back to base real quick. We'll go third person, check out me. I'm currently wearing a Brotherhood of Steel, as you see, metal chest plate with some road raider road gear and stuff. So it's a mix of stuff, but let's go ahead and take care of this person right here. So this person, you'd click I on. I want to trade a few things. Of course. Here's how it works. We know she's using a short pipe rifle, so she doesn't need that pistol I gave her. She has plenty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to apparel, and we're gonna give her the road leathers. It's a little better than what she's wearing. She's a defender, so they always come first. You want to hit equipped. So now she's wearing leather armor. Now what we want to do is give her a leather right leg. Yeah. Store metal arm. Metal left leg and metal right arm. Now what this does is we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna hit a quip on it, and it's gonna pop on her. You see how it's getting on? It's hard to see, but watch her left leg right here. Left leg's armored, and you watch right arm. It's armored. So now she has all this bonus armor, and I get to customize her look a little bit. And because that hat is just terrible, she doesn't look scary at all, and she's supposed to be one of my guards. We're gonna give her a salt mask real quick. So now, when she equips it, here's what she looks like. Now let's check out my new guard. She's got armor on. There she is. That's the new defender. There we go. Now we're going to set up our other defender. Our other defender looks alright. She's got a nice little look about her. I just, I just need, need to trade, trade gear, gear with you. Okay. 
But we're going to give her some leather. I think that'll help her out. We're going to give her leather, this. Leather left arm. I think our, and her right, right leg. There we go. We're going to go over. So we're going to store this on her. Where is it at? Equip. Oh. Ooh. Well, she apparently can't wear her outfit. So we got to find a... We need to go back and get some armor off that one person. Till then, she's going to be gardening her <laughs> underwear. She's kind of happy. Look at her face. She's like, mmm. All right, let's go grab that harness off this guy. <laughs> I did not know it would make her naked, but I guess I can't control that. We'll do it real quick. We'll just come over and grab it. So if you see my AP just drained in the bottom right corner, that's the same stuff you use when you're trying to do the little vats shooting. So vats, not only does vats drain, but so does your everything else. So watch. I sprint, that drains, but what also drains is the vats. So if you're sprinting and you try to go into a gunfight, you won't be able to use your vats. Now mine refills kind of fast, but that's because I have high perception. So, get a little sprint going on. All right, let's trade with her again. I just want to trade, trade a few things. things. Sure. She's got a unique look, so we're gonna give her. Now, like I said, where's that harness? Well, now oh, I gotta go equip it. See, I almost forgot myself. Now you hit equipped, and there she is, all armored up, with an automatic rifle. And now we can take our leftover supplies, and we'll try to help out our soldiers over here, or our farmers. He looks a little under armored. So we'll help him out. But first, I was going to show you me. So if you see, I'm wearing a right shoulder piece. So I go to my inventory. We can see what I'm wearing on my right shoulder really quick. I'm currently wearing a right raider arm braced buttress, which gives five defense and five electrical defense. This here is not as good, but we'll look at it really quick, see what it looks like. So you see how it looks? It looks a little cooler. So I'm actually going to take that. I can upgrade it. We're going to look at this guy right here. I just, I just want to trade, trade a few things. things. Sure thing. So he's 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 under boy. He's like, look at him. He's in trouble. So we're gonna look at him and give him this. Let's see if he can actually use it. That's a good thing. There we go. So now he's got a nice arm used up. That arm's gonna help him out. Let's find that pistol we picked up for him. There we go, give him a pistol. Now here's the kicker though, he can't just use a pistol, he has no bullets. So I have to take bullets from me and give them to him. So when you hit that, you can choose how many you give him. I try to give around 10. I'm gonna give him, we'll give him 13. There you go, now he, now I have to make him use it, I have to go over and hit. Well, where's that, I didn't give him the gun yet. Oh, there it was. My fault. Equip. And now he's equipped up. Good to go. He's got a nice little arm piece. As you can see, he's all loaded up. More gunshots going on. We got another little... So we got a trader coming in. He's my provisioner. Just looking to trade a little. So you see what he's got there. He's doing all right. But this is my guy. This is his job. Supply line. He'll take supplies from here and head himself. So he actually made it here. Not before me, but looks like he's done his job already. I didn't even know it. I don't really know what he's good for yet, honestly. But I just know that I want him doing it. And it looks like if I go to data, I can look at my workshops. Red Rock still has nobody. Sanctuary Hills still has just 11. This place still only has 4. There's places with two. I'm not too worried about those. I'm more worried about Sanctuary Hills than these two right here. I want to get Red Rocket up, but I don't have... I'll have to see. Let's see what I'm missing real quick. So you need sensory re relays to get people. So, for example, if I go to power, I can go to miscellaneous. This here's a recruitment beacon, which I actually can now do. So, well, here we go. Um, Yeah, bear with me real quick. We're going to go to that place I was just talking about, Red Rocket, which is on my map. And we're going to try to get there and get people set up. Here we go. 
um, that there is a very unique weapon I've yet to unlock. I have no clue what it is, but obviously someone is pulling the pin on a baseball and throwing a grenade. Like, it's a grenade attached to it. It's like something of every sort. I have no clue. I could possibly every grenade in the, every grenade in the game. I have no clue. Now here's Red Rocket. It's morning. And as you can see, what's, we can look around back here. I have defenses already up. Cooking station already up right outside. I have a water system set up. I have food. It is a nice little setup. If you come in here, open my door. I got beds for people. Nice little station here. So, but no one was here. And to get people here, you have to build those relay stations I just showed you. So to do that, we're going to go over here to power. But before that, you have to have a generator. So let's go ahead and get us a generator. Oh, you notice I'm low on gears. That's an issue. So it means I have to go gathering goods for gears. Which, I don't even know. What so here's how you do this. Now we're going to tag for screws. So now anything anything that has aluminum gear or screws when I'm looking through junk will light up and I'll know exactly what it is so if I hit workshop really quick or we'll look for uh, an actual workshop so right here I have purified water here uh, we have alarm clock this has things I need right here I don't know what it has oh this has aluminum there's aluminum. Broken light bulb. No. Circuitry. Screws. What do you know? Look at this. So we have more than what we thought we had here. I don't know why it didn't say I had any. Adjustable wrench has steel and gear. We should be fine. So let's see what we got going here. So now let's go to power, like I said. Let's look at generators. Apparently I still don't have enough. Oh, okay, so by fault people. Um so what I just did was I took from what I have. So I'm gonna have to go back and put that store that away again. So store, store, store. Here we go. So, a little radio going on here. But that is a lot of it. Like, this is just it. We'll have to go out and we're going to go scavenging. So, we'll look at the map, see what it quests I have, and see what quests we have in that area. Right now, once we go to Revere Satellite, that's a place to go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to end this little stream right here in just a second, save the footage. Once I get there, and we'll start, start over. I just want to thank everybody for watching again, but we're going to go here and end it, so thanks for watching.